Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for the week ahead. This is your timeless love prediction. Please remember these readings are general and for the collective, so take what resonates for your situation and leave the rest. If you feel it doesn't resonate, then head on over to your moon rising Venus signs as there may be a message from spirit in there for you. Okay, so Aries, if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome, it's lovely to have you here. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your ongoing support, your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribe, your support means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for all of that. Okay, please remember when I'm giving these readings, if you feel the energy uh, reversed, so if you feel like if I'm talking about your energy and it feels like it resonates more so with their energy, then take what resonates for your situation okay remember these are general readings okay so aries we're going to be looking at your recent past current energy and the likely outcome for you this week and i'll be getting a love heart oracle message as well to see if there's any additional love messages for you so in your recent past you have the tower the two of staffs eight of swords and in your current energy you have the three of cups seven of swords three of pentacles and in your likely outcome, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. And at the base of your deck, you have the Moon. Okay, so Pisces energy coming through really strong here for you, Aries. So take what resonates for you. But I'm feeling with the Moon being at the base of the deck here, I feel there's going to be something revealed to you that's going to cause um, a bit of a a bit of a shock to your system is what I'm feeling here. Okay, the Tower moment with the Eight of Swords is very much making you feel like, damn, I didn't see this coming, kind of thing. It's very unexpected, very out uh, out of the blue is what I'm feeling here for you. I don't feel it's anything um, drastic. There's no major arcana here to say there's going to be a huge shift, a huge change in in the dynamics of the situation. Um, and I do feel like you've got some really supportive friends and family who are going to help you through this situation, okay? So let's take a look and clarify what all of this is, is about for you this week, Aries. So with the Tower moment, you have the Empress, okay? So this is about um, something new, a new beginning coming from something that's, that's had to end. The tower moment is very much the universe coming in and saying, hey, things need to change, so I'm going to help you. So I feel like the universe has given you a little help in hand for you to kind of um, rebirth, re you know, to kind of um, reconnect with yourself and really learn about yourself again. And I feel that there's been times where you've doubted your self-worth, you, you've dealt, you know, very much doubted your abilities and your worth a lot especially with the the five of pentacles here as well but the empress with the tower is very much saying that you know you can, you're kind of a, having a wake-up call is what i'm getting here if you aries and you're starting to realize whoa whatever this situation is that this underlying i feel like current of something that feels um uncomfortable is your you're going to need to embrace it if you haven't already for you to be able to move forward. The two of staffs is very much about stepping outside of your comfort zone and it's a choice, okay? So there's a choice you, you need to make here and I feel it's a choice in um, how you respond to this situation. So let's let's dig deeper for you. With the page of cups, the two of staffs here, this could be that um, you, you need to follow your heart, okay? The empress, the page of cups, very much I'm feeling you've got a strong sense of intuition, especially with the moon as well. And there's something that you love or someone that you love that you feel that there's a, a lack of connection, there's a lack of um, reciprocate, reciprocation in this connection that you've got with them. And I feel stuck, you know, it feels very much stuck. It feels like you're lacking uh, self-confident, you're lacking in your worthiness to have this beautiful love. Uh, but, you know, I feel like you've, you, you know, you've very much got really supportive friends, really supportive family to help you through this situation. A lot of emotional fulfillment is going to come off the back of this tower moment that's going to really shift things for you in a really positive way, okay? Emotional fulfillment, emotional contentment, potentially bringing in a soulmate energy for you. And I feel it's coming through your friends here. 
I feel your, your friends will be brutally honest with you and remind you of how amazing you are. All of your beautiful gifts, all of your beautiful qualities, all of your wonderful characteristics that make the essence of you. And I feel because you've been kind of attached to a situation emotionally, the Queen of Swords is coming in and saying, remove yourself emotionally from this situation, okay? And spend some time with your family and friends and they will be brutally honest with you. They will support you. They will, you know, remind you of, as I said, of all of your amazing qualities. And it'll help you to be more honest with yourself in, in what you want from this connection, what you want from this situation. I just feel like you haven't been honest with yourself. And I feel like a situation has controlled you rather than you having control of that. And you're you're letting go of that. And I feel that you've got your friends and family coming in, in to help you here. Very much so. Six of Pentacles, you have two Six of Pentacles. So you're finding a compromise, you're finding a balance, okay? I feel someone is giving you um, an offer of help, an offer of support here. And I feel that you really need to take this because you, you definitely have been made to feel undervalued by someone. Um, but you really don't need to. You need to, you need to be spending time now with those people who love you, care about you, uh, for you to heal and get through this. Because you have got a lot of help coming your way. You've just got to you've got got to see that Five of Pentacles again. A definite sense of you've been lacking in confidence and really doubting your self worth here. And you really don't need to. Four of Pentacles. Just invest more time in you. Okay and. Four of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. This is definitely um, letting go of toxic energy in the past year that has um, held you back from doing what you want to do. I feel like somebody's clipped your wings. I feel like somebody's quite uh, been quite controlling with you. And, you know, I feel that the, the tower moment has come in and shifting things for you. And finally, you, you go in from see all of these coins in that window there to boom, they're being revealed you know and I said this I, I feel like something's been revealed there's been hidden um, qualities of you hidden um, uh, characteristics of you that I feel you've been holding back uh, because someone has kind of suppressed who you really are um, and you're they've, they've kind of made you doubt yourself that's what I'm getting and I feel like from spending the time with those people who you love your family your friends um, who care about you will make you boom realize your worth again because I feel like you're going from not seeing your values not seeing your worth to all of those pentacles being released and you suddenly feeling in the empress energy again where you're feeling in control loved um yeah and just appreciate yourself again uh three of pentacles another three of pentacles with a five of pentacles I do feel um, there is a strong sense of you communicating, connecting with those people who you love and maybe this could be some, someone in work who's been making you doubt your abilities. Um, maybe somebody in work, school or college has made you doubt yourself, uh, doubt your abilities but wow you are, you are gonna, you're going to shine okay. And the two of pentacles, there is a choice for you to make for sure and I do see you kind of looking into the future more now, weighing up your options about which direction to go. Um, and I feel this is more so around work here. And I feel like when you've sorted work, that's when I feel that when you've sorted your finances is when your um, love life will start to come into play and things will start happening for you in, in love. Because you've got the Ten of Cups here and I just feel with the two doves here, if somebody's disappointed you, Somebody has disappointed you, someone who you trusted, someone who you loved, and you've seen a really different side to them. And I think that's the reveal, is, is the true colours have outdid in someone who you trusted. And someone who has really made you doubt your self-worth. You've kind of had this wake-up call, realised, hang on, I am worth so much more than this person makes me feel. And you're taking back your power. It could be this person and maybe a twin flame is who this person is that you're dealing with. They are, twin flame energies can be really, really challenging. So if this is you with your twin flame, I do really feel a strong sense that uh, you're, you're doubting yourself because your twin is flame is just making you feel erratic all over the place. And, you know, it's, it's making you feel um, just not... 
you just I feel like you you've fallen off the tracks okay and you feel like you need to get back on, on track again and the way that you're going to get back on track is by spending the time with your family and friends and those people who love you so that you can connect yourself so I do feel there's been a challenge around a twin flame here um, and it does feel chaotic it feels messy it could be that they're already connected to someone else and that's kind of been the big reveal uh, because twin flame sometimes the the timing of the meeting with the twin flame can be challenging because sometimes with twins you know you'll meet when you're already in a relationship or they could be already in a relationship sometimes with the three of cups or three of pentacles this can be an external influence third party connection that's affecting you being together so you've also got life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change, we resist natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. I'm just going to pull one more card for you. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So I do feel like whatever the challenges have been, whatever the situation has been with your twin flame or this person uh, who's caused you this distress, uh, I feel like whatever this hidden underlying current of issues has been, you're shifting into a new dynamic, a new phase, into a new uh, situation with this with this person. But I think I'm feeling you need to give them an ultimatum, is what I'm getting here. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibility for your life. So I feel like you're taking back your power. You're starting to stand up for yourself and you're starting to tell your person who makes you doubt yourself so much. Um, you, you're just going to be taking back your power and you're going to be realising your worth again. And you're going to be investing more time in you so that your confidence will grow and you'll be able to be in a strong position to say to your person who makes you doubt yourself, listen, I know my worth, I know I'm good enough and you know all of your qualities and you don't need to justify that to anyone apart from yourself who you've been doubting yourself for so long. You will have this kind of wake up call and realise that this is a, a cycle that you've been going through with this person because you've allowed them to make you doubt yourself and you really don't need to doubt yourself, okay? Just... As I said, connect with your friends, connect with your family, those people who love you, care for you and really work on yourself again and your confidence will soar and everything will come back into balance, okay? You're going to go through this transformation which I feel will help you deepen your bond with yourself, okay? So Aries, I feel there's a lot of self-work to do um, for you to be in this Ten of Cups uh, feeling of emotional fulfillment. There is a compromise that needs to be made here with the Six of Pentacles uh, and you just need to start, step up, stand up for yourself and be more assertive with the, um, the Four of Pentacles energy here as well. Invest more time in you. Invest more time in you. Invest more time with your friends and family. Know your worth. Know your strengths. Know your uh, confidence is going to soar when you connect with who you are again, which as a result will stop this person from making you doubt yourself. You have everything that you need, everything that you want, Aries, to be the person that you want to be. And don't ever let anyone um, allow you to doubt that, okay? Believe in yourself. Strong message coming through there for you, Aries. I really hope it helps, hope it resonates. If it does, let me know in the comments box below, and I'll see you next week.